Hello, my Scorpios. Welcome back. All right. So we know the deal. It's a general reading. Take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, a link to my website is in the description box below, along with whatever else, you know. Um, all right. So I'm getting a very interesting energy, Scorpio. In the pre-shuffle when I was focusing on you, uh, the Scorpio, um, I feel like I want to say you're very intentional. You know what you're doing and you do it very well whatever this is. This could be, I, I want to say that you could be good at doing a couple things, but you're definitely creating or you're about to be if you're not. I feel like you've been working at something, manifesting, but I'm getting like Scorpio knows something or Scorpio has a secret. But is that really surprising? Don't Scorpios always have secrets? Um, okay, so, but look at, I, I would like you to, this I feel very strongly is you, Scorpio. Look at her. Um, she's alluring, but, and you know, if you are not a feminine, you masculines, whoever is watching this, you're dealing with a, a woman like this. She knows exactly what she's doing. It's very kind of like a spider energy. And I don't mean that, that is, um, I, I like spiders. So I consider that a good thing, but, um, cause spiders create, they're very resilient. They're a predator, but they're, um, they create these beautiful webs and there's something you're creating and I feel like you do it, um, you're very secretive about it. I'm, I'm getting, it's like you don't mess around, but you don't say that. It's like just known. I know, and and again, there's a C, I'm getting like lots of stuff. <laughs> so bear with me while I sift through you, Scorpio. There are so many layers here. Um, but yeah, you are, you're working in secret, you're manifesting in secret. Um, there could be justice coming to two people that have crossed you wrong. So I don't know who those two people are you may have manifested this Scorpio, whether you realize it or not. This person, um, I feel though like, a, they might have it coming to them. That's what they're saying. I mean, I don't know, I'm not there, you know? One of them could very likely be in your family and they're very jealous of you. Uh, but the other person is not in your family. So one in your family, one not in your family. This person kept secrets from you. There will be justice coming to these two people. <clears throat> All right, okay, so moving on from that here. <laughs> um, there's a lot of duality, and I think you're really figuring out that's what I, you know, I like about Scorpio readings are always so deep. Uh, same with Leo's. Leo's kind of like this too. Um, they wear more of a, I think they disguise it a little better. Scorpions are reclusive and secretive and that is, they are very much appear that way. <clears throat> but there is a duality. You're looking at things that are toxic for you. I feel like you are really seeing that clearly. I feel like you're learning, you're remembering. Some of this toxic stuff that has a hold on you still is present, but you you are, I just wanna say you're learning. Because I see overall happiness and it's right behind you.
And I think you see it too. I think you know it. I think you are starting to know what you want. And that's why you're manifesting here. I mean, I'm getting like very mystical energy, a lot of moon talk. Let's just say it like that. Let's say moon talk. There is somebody here, I feel like, that will try to stop you if they have not already. Choices, choices. I'm getting I'm getting so many messages for you, Scorpio. You just want to talk to me, don't you? Um <clears throat> But you're gonna figure this out. Okay, give me two oracle cards, please, for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio, please, my lovely Scorpio. Um, okay, so I love this. Because I saw happiness, I was sensing that in the pre, the, you know, from the bottom of the deck, pre-shuffle. I feel like you are seeing both worlds. It's like you are in the middle of this phasing over. Happiness is within your grasp and you got soulmates. So some of you, after having a lot of toxic relationships, could meet someone or maybe you already know this person. Maybe it's a new phase, a learning um, taking time apart to learn. I don't know, but whatever it is, there's somebody in your life. <sighs> I feel like that you may be able to lean on, you may be able to, like, this is the type of person you can take a nap with, you know? So if that's romantic, a friend, your s sister, or whatever. But there is someone here, and that's how, that gives you a glimpse of happiness. Because I think right now you're trying to find it in yourself. You know this. You know, you know all of this. But there will be someone. Are they old or new? I don't know. I gotta kind of like, okay, what's the other card for Scorpio, please? Wow, <laughs> wow. Interesting. Okay, loyal heart. Whoop. Okay, wow. This could have been. This could be a. Con this could be a connection that almost slipped away, or that could have been symbolic. So slipping away. Um, it may seem to like. Somebody may be kind of clumsy. I don't know. Okay, so loyal heart here. Loyal heart and soulmates. Wow. So. There's going to be someone if you don't already know them. And they're, they want to go the distance with you. They might be seeing you differently than anyone's ever seen you before or than they've seen you before. I'm getting... Let me see, let me see what's going on. Cause I'm feeling there could be two, cause see there's two pairs here. So, these could be two different connections. They could be talking past and present, a choice, um, or it could be the same connection. Let me, let, me, let me find out, let's see what we can get. But yes, there is someone who's loyal to you I was getting this energy in another reading. Was it Libra? Some of you may be a Libra. I don't know. All right, uh, universe, show me what's going on here for the soulmates card for Scorpio, please. Oh, yes, you guys. All right, so. Eight of Cups for Scorpio. 
This is definitely talking about a connection. Somebody, uh, wow, soulmate, boy, wow, okay. But there could have, there could be like some uncertainties or things that aren't being expressed. Now, this could be, so Four of Wands, Eight of Cups. I'm hearing like walking away from one thing and going towards, like I'm seeing somebody leaving to go to work. So somebody could have always been leaving to go to work or leaving to go work on something else. Or this could be you, Scorpio. You could be always working, always, that's what you're doing. You're always going the direction of work. Like you don't mess around right now, you're not at least. I'm just seeing this for some reason in this soulmate connection, even though it feels very warm and loving, it's almost like, um, see, they're walking away towards work. So somebody may have picked to put work into something else besides a connection that was a soulmate connection that they actually felt very drawn to put work into. They felt drawn to this connection, you and this individual. Um, But they chose to be practical and they chose work, they chose money, they chose uh, their routine, something that's familiar. So this could be another person or their job or whatever. I mean, travel could be involved, who knows. Now, for some of you also, you could be working to move. I do see that, I do see that as well potentially coming up. Um, but I feel like this is more talking about, you know, I, this is a, you know, <sighs> This person's probably been in the energy for a while. You could be waiting for them to come back. You could have been. They could be waiting for you. Some Somebody might be waiting. The other person's like working on something else. They're like, I got stuff to do. <coughs> okay. So what's this loyal heart here for Scorpio? Could be dealing with an earth sign. Ooh, okay. So... Okay, now there's a lot of people. See, I, I, I was getting a lot of people in your reading last week. Scorp Scorpio. <laughs> uh, Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Cups here. Earth. Is, uh, is there an earth sign that wants to offer you love? Could be earth, water. Doesn't have to be either. This person just wants to show you loyalty. They see you. They... they I don't know. I think I feel like they see you as their match. What else? So Scorpio wants a love reading, I guess. I didn't designate this, but this seems to be. I feel like you just you. <laughs> looks like you're dealing with two individuals here, or maybe you're not. Maybe you're not physically dealing with two individuals, but their energy energy is lingering. There is definitely somebody who is coming in to offer you love. They could be a cancer, they could be an earth sign, they could be a water sign. All I really have is earth and water here though, but look, ace of pentacles, oh, they wanna, look at this. It's like, baby, will you let me be your emperor? Can I be your daddy, Scorpio? <laughs> Can I be your daddy? <laughs> I don't know. You might have some trust issues and be like, mm, you might pout a little bit. I don't know. Do you really want to be my daddy? I'm just getting this like kind of, I don't know. feels playful. feels a little pout, but I, I feel like it boils down to that you know the deal you want happiness you're trying to search within yourself like what i was saying you're kind of down to business and now all of a sudden you've got um the past and the future colliding so you may have a choice you may or you may just not be healed from a connection I feel as if somebody that uh, walked away, it doesn't feel over, so they will be back. This could be why this is predictive. Like you're gonna literally have, um, and for a lot of you, you know, a lot of you have already been dealing with this past energy for several videos now, and we, we all know the deal with this person, but. 
somebody wants to step up their game. They want to show you that they can be the man or the woman, you know. Okay, so let's see. I don't do this with each one, but I feel drawn to. Yeah, I mean, and some of you may have not met this person yet. And for others, if you are literally, it's about um, if you are not dealing with anyone and you know that there isn't romance in your upcoming future somehow, whatever, that's just not where you are, you may need to heal from a connection that took your self-esteem down a little bit is what I'm feeling and really kind of show love to yourself and bring balance and work on yourself, which I feel as if you are doing. There's pentacles here. There's stability, potential move in your future. I see um, new decorations or like, um, I don't know. But yeah, it's like being loyal to your own heart. So and moving forward with that and with that comes the offers because love can be given to us in many different ways it doesn't have to come like romeo on you know on a horse and this this is about emotional fulfillment in general and depending on what phase in your life you are i do feel like movement though travel or like a location change could help you like a, bring a new offer in perhaps. Just something to think about, I guess. Um, but I do see, uh, let's see. One more card for the Scorpio that I'm gonna close it off. Yeah, see soulmate. There's a soulmate on your mind. Oh yes. There's a connection. Something just feels very kindred and you are correct here. This is, this is somebody that, I keep wanting to say there's potential in longevity, but you will have an option. The universe is gonna present you with an option. Will you choose the toxic choice? The choice that you had chosen before? The thing that maybe you're more uh, drawn to, it's alluring in some way, or will you choose the intuitive, what you've learned, the path that's going to actually bring you happiness. And that's, that's, I think it's, that's what you have to decide because the, the, the connection that you choose is very key to your life, basically. You will have a completely different life based on two choices, two totally different experiences. So, okay. So that could be why you are going within, you know this, you know. All right, Scorpio, um, I'm done. <laughs> Suddenly now I'm awkward. All right, bye-bye.